Hey everybody, Purple for the Ages coming at you from my secret location. How are you doing today? Uh, I wanted to start a series. Um, one of the things about prepping is that you can prep for almost anything. Um, and one of the things that is the major, what are the odds, right? What are the odds of prepping for retirement? What are the odds I'm going to make it to retirement? Well, I am striving to stay alive. <laughs> I'm striving to stay alive. <clears throat> um, long enough so that I can retire and also the stretch goal is to enjoy my retirement. So uh, this series is going to be something that uh, just basically my thoughts on how I'm going to prep, how, how, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to prep, how am I going to prepare for the day that, that I no longer need, want, I'm, I'm self-sufficient, I am uh, all set on uh, enjoying the rest of my life, taking it easy, kicking back. And I think that's what a lot of people need to prep for. <laughs> and it's something that I just don't think that people plan for. Um, I have a uh, <clears throat> relative, I have a relative that uh, doesn't want to plan for tomorrow. They want to live for today. They don't care that they don't have the finances to retire or the means to retire or she, they can't find a reason why they just can't retire now <laughs> but they don't have the the no they just don't have the finances they just don't have the planning down they just don't have what are they going to do where are they going to go oh yeah, oh yeah well you know i could die tomorrow or i could you know you just enjoy today while you can and who cares about the future and so i'm sitting here going okay um okay so let's start by saying you can't move into my place <laughs> you can't move in with me because if you're going to live for today and expend your resources today then when you don't have any money tomorrow i'm not your solution so don't come to me. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the the thing that I'm I'm thinking about. Uh, and one of the one of the several you know what are the odds of this? What are the odds of that? The, the odds are knock on wood better than even <laughs> that I'll survive to retirement. And retirement's coming up within the next uh, not few years. It's farther out than that. Puppies into stuff. Um, farther out than that. But I'm trying to go and. Uh, figure out what I need to do, how much resources, throwing kibble, how many resources I need to retire, what's the budget, what is, what am I going to do, uh, how am I going to come up with active income, passive income. I'm one of those people that doesn't believe in a retirement job. I know it's terrible, isn't it? But I don't believe in a retirement job because if you get a job for your retirement, doesn't that mean you're still putting in those hours, but now for less money? So uh, I'm not quite getting that at the moment. Dog is gone. I don't where I do where he is. Okay. But anyways, <laughs> it's something that I want to think about. It's something that maybe I want to put down uh, at least on video so that I can track my progress. Uh, look at the goals. Look at where I am. Look at where I want to be do the stretch goals and in the in call that a, a part of prepping because it is part of prepping and everybody does it and it's something that uh you know i don't know if it's survivalism <laughs> how to survive <laughs> how to survive your retirement maybe i'll be just more of a survivalist and um and call it survivalism on uh, retiring so it because you know as you go along you're going to have to uh get your own resources do your own thing make sure you have the income and the outflow the you know <laughs> the same or greater the income needs to be the same or greater than the outflow so there we go so anyways okay so um let me get my thoughts together and talk a little bit about prepping or survivalist retirement retirement survivalist I don't know. Okay. We'll work on that. Okay. Well, I hope you're having a good one. Take care. Bye.